DIY and dish with the Crafty Blind Chick, Valentine's Day Decor. Just really quick before I get into the DIY and dish, um, I wanted to let you know that this is kind of a concept that I want to try out where I would give you a couple of craft ideas or go through a couple of projects and just kind of chat about how things are going and what's going on in our lives over here um, and hopefully hear from you in the comments um, about things that are going on in your lives and hopefully seeing a few pictures of the projects that you do. As you can tell, I am not at my best and brightest right now. I'm pretty worn out from the weekend, which I'll tell you about a little bit as the video goes on, but we had an unexpected death in our family and that has really gotten me off of kind of my anticipated schedule because I came home to some substantial work that I had to take care of. But I am going to be trying to get back on track. And I also wanted to let you guys know that this is a pretty steep learning curve for me. I'm learning not only about YouTube and what YouTube requires, I guess, but I'm also learning entirely uh, about the editing system. And as somebody who is legally blind, um, that has its own inherent challenges to learn a new technology and a new system and how to navigate that. So it's taking me longer than it might take somebody else, but that's okay. I'm really excited about it. I'm having a lot of fun with it and it's a great challenge for me. So thank you so much for your patience and understanding and I hope you enjoy this video. Conversation heart banner supplies include cardboard conversation hearts, plastic beads, hot glue gun and hot glue, string and scissors. So let's get started. These are the conversation heart decorations that I got from the dollar spot at Target. I have already hot glued the small beads to the back of each cardboard conversation heart. There are four colors. There's a yellow heart that says text me and the print is cut out from the middle of each heart. There is a fuchsia heart that says you rock. It's hashtag love. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm really curious if my 11 year old only knows that hashtag as a hashtag because it took me forever to figure out that what I thought was the number sign or the pound sign is actually now a hashtag. The fourth heart is a red XOXO heart. I took each heart and I have coordinating, this doesn't really matter, you could put any beads on the back of these, but I have coordinating colors. So the yellow heart, I found some yellow beads. I used hot glue and uh, this is probably the most clear one as you can see or not. <laughs> I used hot glue and placed the hot glue at the top of each half moon at the top of the heart. So there will be two areas of glue there because I really wanted to make sure that the beads would hold the weight of the conversation hearts when they're on the string for the banner. So I placed the beads round side touching the cardboard or the hot glue. So I have decided to go yellow, fuchsia, aqua, and red in that order. I'm just going to use some basic string. I'm gonna go ahead and thread those onto the string right now. I will show you once I'm done, but as I go, I'm also going to make a knot on one side of these first two and then one side of these two, and both of them will be kind of the interior side. Basically, I'm just making the knots so that when it's hanging and it's kind of rounded as it hangs from the two sides above the door, that the hearts won't move. So there's our conversation heart banner. I will be hanging these banners above my girls' doors just for fun and some pretty decoration for Valentine's Day coming up. While I'm thinking about it, I was thinking a little bit today about how these could be more fun if your children are blind. Now, I'm hanging these above my girls' doors, but certainly you could hang it on a wall to the side of their bedroom or in their bedroom. If you have a braille labeler, one thing you could do is to print out braille labels with the words that are on each heart. Then you already have the adhesive back 
The other thing that you could do just as easily is braille onto either braille paper or some light cardstock in either white or a coordinating color and then either use double-sided sticky tape or just some simple Mod Podge or glue and glue the braille label onto the conversation heart and then you have tactile conversation hearts. Framed Valentine's Decor for this project, you'll need a gift bag, greeting card, or printed image, a pair of scissors, and an acrylic stand frame. Mine is from the Dollar Tree, but I would recommend you purchase a more sturdy, quality stand frame. This quick DIY will use a Dollar Tree gift bag. This one is specifically for Valentine's Day. It says love, has some decorative elements including a couple of hearts, an arrow, and the O is a circle with a heart with an arrow through it inside. The background is a deep, like more of a burgundy red with a lighter red with print on it saying related words to Valentine's Day. So let's get into it. This is just a Valentine's Day piece of decor to put on our front entry table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the gift bag, open it up. I'm going to cut off the sides and the back of the gift bag so that all I have left is this front piece. I have trimmed off the back and the sides of the gift bag and now I'm just left with the front. I'm going to lay that flat on my gift bag. Center the gift bag how I would like it. I am going to take my pencil and line on the top and the bottom and that is going to be pretty close to my estimate of size. Now this is probably a pretty good example of how close I have to be to see things. When there are things like cutting I have to be super super close to see it. All right, next we're going to take this and we're going to cut along the lines that we have made. If you are blind or low vision and you cannot see the lines that you've cut, oftentimes I will use a Sharpie marker so that it's really bold and I can usually follow that. But if you need visual assistance cutting, feel free to ask for it. My husband functions as my eyes often. So now I have trimmed the top and the bottom. I may need to clean up the sides a little bit. The other thing I was thinking too for some of you, if you have a paper cutter, that will make you know cutting that straight line easier. So everything has now been trimmed again. So there's the completed piece. Now you could also do this with a normal frame. I personally love the gift bags at the Dollar Tree. If you find a gift bag anywhere, obviously, it could be a great and inexpensive piece of artwork. Another thing that's really good for that are cards. So like greeting cards or a Valentine's Day card or Christmas card. You can quickly slip one of those into a frame and have a beautiful piece of artwork. I actually gave my mom one for Christmas. It was of a peacock and I could not bring myself to write in it because it was so beautiful. So I told her, you know, you can choose to do whatever you want to with this card but if it were me, I would frame it. <laughs> now we'll move on from our frame to our Valentine's door hangers. Felt heart envelope door hangers. You'll need felt heart shaped envelopes, embellishments of your choice, cardstock, and hot glue gun and glue sticks. felt envelopes. They're heart-shaped that I got from a dollar spot at Target. I have two of these circle emojis that were also from the dollar spot at Target. There were 15 in a pack. They do have adhesive on the back, but I'm going to use hot glue. And then I have two little faux roses here, both in the same colors. And then the last thing that you will need is a little piece of cardstock. I've taken that and I've kind of sketched out the initial of our girl's names. What I'm going to do last is add a little bit of string or ribbon so that I can have them hang on the girl's door. The girls can check it each day and see if there's a little note in there for them. The first thing I'm gonna do, the heart, and I'm gonna turn it so that the envelope side is facing the table. I'm going to adhere the little emojis. You can decorate yours any which way you want to or you can have your kids decorate it. That might be a really fun project. I got a new glue gun for Christmas from my mom. I go to use it and this is a brand new glue gun. And you know, you get used to like how much pressure you have to put on the little trigger. So I go to use this new glue gun and I push the trigger and it like goes hot glue everywhere. Oh, they're so cute. I just love those little heart emojis. The other funny thing that happened 
when I started using this new glue gun is I had to obviously put a glue stick in and my mom gave me a package of glue sticks for this new glue gun. You guys, they're hysterical. Like, look at this. I'm gonna lay it down on the table and then I'll put the flower next to it so you can see how long it is. Like this glue stick is like 12 inches long and I'd say it's a good quarter inch around. This thing is like the mammoth of glue stick. I'm going to adhere my flower next. Okay, so I have hot glued our two roses our two emoji heart eye faces to our felt heart envelopes. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the letters. It's been a long weekend and gosh, today's already Tuesday. We had an unexpected death in our family. So traveled to Kansas City this last weekend. I knew that if I decided to travel there that when I got home, I would have some serious work to do because I had a large cookie order to complete and get shipped out by today. My first night back, which was Sunday, I stayed up until one working on my cookies. And then last night, I actually got to bed at a reasonable time. I think it was like 10 o'clock maybe, which is for most people, I guess, pretty awesome. But I am one of those people who like needs a lot of sleep. Even in college, when everyone else was partying, Cole was in bed. So I got the cookie order done, got it shipped off today. Felt super duper proud of myself. And it should be there Thursday, which is early even. And then tonight, our older daughter, Katie, had an orchestra concert uh, and choir, I guess, too. And that was really wonderful. I was pretty impressed. So I wanted, to, like, I have always loved the violin. Always, always. And when I was a little kid, I don't know, not a little kid, maybe like junior high, I guess. I had the opportunity to take violin lessons and I tried, but my teacher felt that I just couldn't see well enough to effectively play the violin. I stopped because, you know, my parents didn't have a whole lot of resources as far as knowing what was out there for us to use or to accommodate the situation. And I've always sort of regretted that. Like, I would love to know how to play the violin. It's such a beautiful instrument, and she's really pretty good at it. Tonight, they did one song where they had the kids split into parts, and there was a more advanced part, and then a kind of a little bit easier part. Katie was in the more advanced part, and I was just, like, beaming. Just really proud of her. Taking care to make sure my E is not backwards because it's been that kind of day. I decorated the box before I shipped it off today. And while I was doing that, I thought, oh, well, it might be wise to put the word fragile on the box somewhere, seeing as how these are sugar cookies. And so I write fragile, I think, because I'm like multitasking like crazy and I was trying to make it really pretty. And I put some decorations around it. Sure enough, instead of writing fragile, I wrote fragi. F-R-A-G-I-E. <laughs> I have a master's degree, you guys. Like, I know how to spell the word fragile. So, yeah, that happened. Here are my hearts. One for Katie. And here's Evie's. I'm just going to real quick add a string to each of them so that they will be able to hang on the door. I will show you some footage of the completed projects where they sit or hang in our house and i hope you've enjoyed this if you guys do any of these projects please feel free to share them to my social media whether it's facebook which is chronicles of a crafty blind chick or youtube here you could post i suspect you can add a photo in the comments i'm not sure if you can or not instagram also i have which is crafty blind chick so please feel free to tag me and add a photo if you do any of these projects i would love to see your projects have a great night everybody and i'll talk to you soon Thank you.